It was pretty obvious to me early on in my, my coaching career that having small kids, and at that time, uh, 7v7 wasn't even the wrong. So with small kids as young as 8, 9, 10 years of age, playing the adult game on an adult sized field. And it didn't take long to realise this, this doesn't look right. These kids are really struggling. I started as a, a club coach at West Rue Soccer Club in Scarborough and then uh, progressed to be the technical director and I was there for 10 years. Moved on to York Region Soccer Association as a technical director and I was there for four years. I've worked with the OSA since 1999 on a part-time basis as a, a coaching instructor initially. I started in March of 2013 as a manager of player development. So our role is one of uh, research gathering, leadership, uh, communication and education. The grassroots uh, player development program in Ontario is, is, is really, really important. We want as many players as possible to enter into the talented player pathway. We can only do that if we have good quality programming in place at the youngest ages. For the earliest introduction to the game, it's a game, it's child and the ball, the child and the toy for as long as possible. It makes them feel more comfortable in that environment. And secondly, their technical skills are going to improve subconsciously. So trying to remove some of the decisions or laying the decisions on slowly as a child develops cognitively. The main objective of our programme is each child to fall in love with the game. We want, to, we want to develop players that have a lifelong enthusiasm for the game of soccer. We are a part of uh, giving players the passion for the game at the younger ages. Many of, of the programs we have used are, are used overseas. Through coach education and parent education, creating environments where children feel comfortable and as I say, fall in love with the game. So we've done a lot of coaches education and we've used the licensing that I've gone through, we've used a lot of material, a lot of the connections that, that we have through the OSA leadership. What we try to do is make sure that the coaches are all educated, that they have the respect in soccer, they make ethical decisions, a soccer technical course. Our grassroots model is a true community-based model. We have one girl that I coached, and she's back this year as a, as a coach, coaching her niece. Because we're a very heavily uh, grassroots organization, our vision and, and missions are all about inspiring players and being inspired as leaders. One of the, our players who's played in our club, a lifelong Northwest player, Jesse Fleming, who played in uh, a couple World Cups and on the women's national team. We actually had one player who's right now, uh, he's in the provincial squad under 16. But I think we'll see a greater success when less kids are leaving the game. As the grassroots grows, the numbers will be more in the recreational players, which will then fuel the, the national teams down the road. That we will have more players available for standards-based leagues, the OPDL, more players available for provincial programs representing Ontario, more players available for national team programs and for professional clubs. Because a talented pathway will only be successful if the player development programs at young ages are really well developed and the coaches within those programs develop and deliver good programs. <laughs>